Usually we report on school districts asking for more money, more money that comes from raising your property taxes. But how about this for a switch? One school district isn't asking for cash, it's giving it back. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozloff explains. Spring break means the halls are quiet at Argo Community High School, but the superintendent says there's still excitement in the air. We try to help out every family as much as possible. This time, the help is coming in the form of property tax relief. More than $1.7 million of it divided and staying in the pockets of all district home and business owners. Each taxpaying body of a business or, you know, a business or homeowners will get that money back on their, on their tax bills. $168 to $240 on average per property owner, thanks to an Illinois State Board of Education grant. The $50 million state program is open to eligible districts selected based on evidence-based funding needs. The evidence-based funding model was to basically make an even plan across all schools, no matter financial status or even economic status for students. Both Superintendent William Tulios and School Board President Dan Kozel say the fiscal boost is especially important to families in the half a dozen suburbs that feed the high school because so many of its families are working class and trying to make ends meet, especially now with record high inflation driving the price of everything way up. There's a lot of first year Americans here and you know, a lot of immigrants and I think you know anything helps. The only downside is that money may not help every student's family. Only those who actually own property, not rent it, will get that relief. Kozel hopes otherwise. And you pay forward to the next person. I hope that, that someone would have some common you know, courtesy to do that, especially in these times. District 217 was one of only 37 districts statewide to get that grant. One other catch, though, the state will fund the tax relief this year, but next year the $1.8 million will have to come from the district, but the superintendent says it has the extra reserves to pay for it. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Marie? Every little bit helps. Thanks, Dana.